Do you love me? Are you ready? Since you never have to leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always. So, hi guys, I'm back at you with another video. What? <laughs> and today I will be doing my other half of my unpopular opinion video. Like I told y'all I wasn't done and I told y'all to stop like thinking I'm playing because I'm never playing. If you haven't noticed that by now. But I only got through half of my list last time. And this time I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go ham. Go off. Point blank period. I meant what I said. And I said what I meant. So don't come for me. Period. Okay. But yes. I am so ready to get into this video. So let's just, let's just get into this video. Alright. Let's go. Once again, I am filming in the bathroom. I just want to find somewhere better than the bathroom. But for now, I'm going to just keep recording it here because it has the best light. And it's quiet if the toilet was shut up. Alright. But I'm going to find somewhere. I'm going to find me a good place to record. But for now, I'm going to just I'm gonna just stick to the bathroom. But yeah, my first point is... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah, earpods, they just a waste of money to me. Really. Like, what do, like, what is the purpose of getting them? They're just cordless. I mean, and then you have to turn around and charge them up every so often. Like, is it really worth that much? I mean, it's cool and all when you in class and you got your long hair covering your earpods and you want to listen to music. I mean, that's that's dub but like other than that what does it really do i mean it does the same thing as earplugs you hear the same music it's exactly the same they're just cordless it really doesn't make sense to me like really i just feel like they're a waste of money like all it is is like a social media status now like it just makes you look like you something like on social media when you take pictures with your earpods or something it i don't know like it just it's just a social media thing because in real life they really don't even do nothing seriously it's just on social media people be posing with them like hey and it's just like mm? And it just makes you look like you, like you big balling, like you styling and profiling or something. Like, no, I'm not finna do that. I mean, it's cool if you want to buy them as a gift for me or something, but it's not coming out of my pocket. I mean, if you want to go as a way and, and buy them for me as a gift, then you do that. But I don't got like a hundred dollars spent on no dang earbuds. Like, some of them go as far as 200 something dollars. Do you know what they could be getting with $200? There could be some new hair, some shoes, some clothes, some ear pods this big. It don't even do nothing. Like, you gotta be crazy. You really gotta be crazy because my mother's not. I'm not. If you wanna buy for me, that's cool. And I've seen some that aren't like Apple and they cost like. 59 something but like they're like not apple and i still went pay that much for them <laughs> i would still wouldn't pay that much for them even if they wasn't apple like i still wouldn't pay no 59 dollars for it like no but yeah it was just a waste of money all right on to my next point musically wait what is it called now it's called tiktok tiktok or something it's called something now tiktok i think 
Maybe when I used to use it, it was called Musical.ly. Now it's TikTok. But I thought they was going to kill it. Like, after Musical.ly died off, like, I thought it was dead. <laughs> like, I thought it was over. Like, it was just dead. Now they want to, like, they want to bring it back with TikTok. Like, come on. Like, can't you just let it die? Just kill it. Like, bury it. Don't bring it back. Like, once it died the first time, what made you bring it back again? <laughs> no. No. Like, it's just so crazy. And it's like... It wasn't as bad as it is now. Like, when I used to use it, like, back in my preteen ages, I used to use it. And, like, you would rarely see, like, like grown-ups and, like, young children, like, doing the words. Like, you might see it every once in a while. But now it's just, like, every single time. Because, like, my younger cousin, she, she does it now. And, like, on her timeline, that's all you see. And I just be like, what is this? No. It's just, no. It's just creepy. Like, and then when I used to use it, I think it used to have, like, this little messenger thing on there. Or, like, you could message your friends on there. And, like, that just makes it even worse. Because, I mean, if you small on, like, TikTok or Musical.ly or whatever it's called, and somebody tries to do a duet with you, do you, like, yeah. Let's do this do it. Yeah, let's do it. And like that's how little kids think. Like they don't think about why is this grown man trying to do a duet with me? Because should you have something better to do with your time anyways than make duets with little nine, eight year old, ten year old girls? But they don't think like that. All they think about is trying to get big on there. So they really don't think, oh, well, he's trying to do a music with me. Let's, let's do it. Or TikTok, he's, let's do it. Let's do it. They don't think about why is he keep making duets with me. Like, I'm a little weird. weird. Some of them, like, some of the little videos that they be creating, it be, like, really weird. Like, they be saying stuff. And then, like, the, the man, he be, like, saying stuff off their video, like, it's just weird and gross to me. It's just really gross. And definitely, if they still had a little messenger thing on there, that just makes it so much worse. Because then, like, <laughs> I just remember people used to try to text me on there, and I just cut it. That's when I realized, this is not for me, and I just cut that off. And I ain't been back on there since. Cause now I have sense in my brain to know, like that's how it starts. Like I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's disgusting. They need to cut that. Like they need to do something. Like it's just no. I don't like it. It's disturbing to me. It's disturbing. Like and I used to be going ham on there, doing the tricks, all that. Like transitions, everything going ham. And like they just made it so sick. Like no. Like. Don't get on a child's platform, like a children's platform. Like it's not, it's not. Like why? What are you, what are you doing? What are you even doing on there? Like, should you be doing something important with your time? Like it's just nope. <sighs> it's disgusting. Very disgusting. But anyways, on to my next point. I'm tired of talking about that. Checkers fries are nasty. Think again. I don't know who came up with that one. But y'all need to check that again. Cherry fries are so good. And they be so like salty and good. Who came up with this? Why did you come up with like who said this? Let me know. Checkers fries are the freaking bomb. Like are you like checkers fries or the bomb? It's either for me, it's either between checkers fries and McDonald's fries. Cause McDonald's fries be good when they warm too. Like when they warm and salty, oh they be real good. But checkers fries, they be mmm. I don't know who came up. Checkers is checkers fries nasty. But I don't know what's going on with your taste buds. But they're not they're not doing something right. But yeah. Point blank, period. Okay, 
So for my next one. Why is depression a trend now? Tell me so I can understand that. Everybody out here is claiming that they're depressed on social media. I mean, everybody. Like, I'm depressed. That's all you see. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm so depressed. I'm so sad. Like, stop it. Like, really. It's not cute. Like, and there's people out here that really have depression problems and need help. But we can't never find those people. We can't tell who's depressed and who's not depressed. Because everybody out here claiming that they're depressed. Like, stop it. Like, I can't get my hair done, so I'm depressed. I broke my nails, so I'm depressed. Anything is good. Every single thing that happened in your life is not depression. That's what you call a case of the passing blues where you're sad for a little bit because, I mean, you have a reason to be sad. I mean, if you really wanted to get your hair done and you couldn't get it done, you're sad for a while, but you're not depressed. Like, you had a reason to be sad. Depression, if I, if I can get this right, if I if I'm tell me if I'm wrong now, but what I think depression is when when everything's going right and you're still sad. That's what I think depression is. When like everything is where it needs to be in your life. Have all the family and friends around you. You have this and this and this and it's just so happy, but for some reason you're still sad. That's what I think depression is. Tell me if I'm wrong now. But like you can, and I've seen this a lot. The only thing I'm just making is, oh, I have seen it a lot where people be like, yo, I couldn't get my hair done. I'm so depressed. Sad emoji, sad emoji, sad emoji. That's not depression. Stop saying you're depressed. Like, you can be sad because you couldn't get your hair done, but you're not depressed. Like, stop. Like, and then... There's people out here that really are depressed. And like everybody's going to call them out and be like, oh, you just want attention. When all the attention seekers, they right in your face. Like they right in your face. Like, and I've seen that happen so many times where like people that actually are depressed, be like, people be like, they, they just looking for attention. It might be like that sometimes, but like sometimes people actually like need help <laughs> but like you don't know what from what now because it's a trend everybody depressed nowadays like is it cool like i don't get it it's not cool to me it's not cool to me to be depressed i don't know who not giving you the attention that you need but you need to find it somewhere else because that's not it like I don't know what type of attention that you missing in your life, but you need to go get it somewhere else because it's not. Saying you have a disorder is not cute. It's not cute. That's just how I feel. That's just point blank to the period. <laughs> no if, if, and, but about it. Stop it. All right. What's my next one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one right here. I don't know who told you that getting pregnant at like a young age was cute. And I hope your mother didn't tell you that. I really hope that your mother didn't tell you that because somebody not some sense to her, she did. But like, <laughs> I just don't know anymore what to say. Like, I don't know what's wrong with people. I really don't know what's wrong with people no more. I mean, it's all fun now while you pregnant. I mean, you got all the hype now, like the hype to it, like I'm pregnant. Like, look, like, you know how that be. But I mean, when you pop that baby out, it ain't gonna be like that. <laughs> because you still young, you still wanna go out on the town with your friends, you still wanna party, you still wanna do this, and you still wanna do that. You don't wanna have to worry about I gotta get home to the baby. You still wanna do all these things. Like, you don't wanna have to worry about, 
I'm gonna have to come home to the baby. Like, I'm like, when you are with your friends, you don't wanna be ha have to be like, y'all, I'm have to leave early. I gotta go home to my baby. Like, I'm pretty sure your mother's still gonna want to, like, I wouldn't wanna throw it all out for my mama or something. Unless you can afford daycare or something. Which that's, like, really unlikely if you, like, that young. Unless your, your whoever got you pregnant out there making big money. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, I wouldn't want to throw all that on my mama. Like, even if she did want it, like, I still wouldn't do that. Because my mama, for one, my mama, she still want to, she still want to do her own thing. She still, she still young. She still here. Like, I'm not going to do that. It was my, it was my, I, I did these actions. So, I'm going to be responsible for it. I'm not going to throw it off on everybody else because I want to go clubbing. It's like, no. You should have thought about that before you made the choices that you made. You get what I'm saying? And definitely, if you're trying to do actually do something with your life, like, a lot of girls now want to be like hairdressers or nurses or something like that. And if you want to be a hairdresser, baby girl, you got to have a degree for that. You can't just go out and do it unless you're going to be doing it at your house. But, like, I'm talking about, like, a hair, hair. Like, just do hair. Like, doing hair, doing hair. Like, your own studio, whatever, doing hair. You gonna need a degree for that. It's just not gonna come out your, your butt. It's not gonna come out your butt. And, like, if you wanna be a nurse, it's just not gonna come out. It's just not gonna come out of nowhere. And, like, it's already hard enough going to college. It's already hard enough. And then you have to think about where your baby gonna be at. Why it is definitely if you get like a scholarship or something. I heard if you get a scholarship, you have to stay on campus. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I heard. And where your baby gonna be at 24/7? Like I hope you're not planning to drop that off on your mama 24/7. I just hope you're not, unless you're whoever it is. Um, finna be out. well. That wouldn't even work because then whoever got you pregnant gonna have to be out working while you out here getting your degree. And then like then you still have nowhere to send a baby to. And if you not, if for the people that are not trying to go to college, because everybody not trying to go. I get that. But still, you still wanna be your own. You still wanna do your thing. Why would you wanna be held down? Why would you wanna have all that responsibility on you? Like and then like, you know, I just don't think it's cute because I just don't think it's cute. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I just don't think it's cute. <laughs> and yeah, like, why? Why do that to yourself when you have, like, a whole life to live? Like, you have, like, you have your 30s. You have your, you have your late 20s to do this. Like, why not be young while you can be young? And this, all I gotta say on that. And that also goes into another thing. A lot of people say now that you don't have to go to college to be, like, successful. And that, that applies in some cases. I mean, it does sometimes. It, sometimes it does work out like that. But it's going to be hard. Hard, hard. It's already hard enough when you do have a college education. Like, what do you mean? And, like, I just feel like it is important. Like, I still want a degree to call my own. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of YouTubers. I know a lot of YouTubers. I watch a lot of YouTubers. They be like, um, I I didn't go to college and I'm still successful. Well, I mean, yeah. But I mean, what do you have to fall back on though? Like, if YouTube was to crash and burn right now, if the internet in general was to just crash and burn, like, period, like, it's just gone. Like, if YouTube was to shut down right now for some unknown reason, where would you be? You would be up here looking a freaking fool. Like, you would be up here no nothing to fall back on. And then, like, and then, like, if you can go to college, why not? Because I know there's, like, a lot of people that don't have the opportunity, but if you have it, why not do it? Just because to say you have an education. So nobody can't ever take that away from you. Be like you're not educated. Because like, ba-bam, baby, degree. 
Like, can't nobody take your education away. With like, they can always take your job or something, but you can always fall back on your education. Like, y'all rely so much on social media, like on YouTube, like on like on just like y'all rely so much on technology. No, I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess it's just me because I don't understand. I don't understand. But this is this is what I think about it. Like you still want a degree to call your own. And why? Like that's why it's taking for all those for all those black folks out there, that's why it's taking us so long to come up. Cause like we wanna go, we wanna go the long way to get to success. We wanna we wanna take the detour instead of just and I know a lot of people they don't have the opportunity, but it is a lot of people that do and still don't take it. And still take it for granted when there's people out here that don't have it and wish they could do it but i don't get it like help us bring us up out of these shadows like help us support us you get what i'm saying like help us like get up there it's our time to get up there it's about time we need to get up there for the people in the back get up there like yeah that's just that's just that's all I gotta say, bro. I didn't made it through my other half. Let me make sure, make sure I'm missing nothing. Yep, I didn't made it through the other half of this video. So I hope you enjoy these two videos. If you haven't seen my part one, I either leave it up on, leave it for you on the end screen or in the i cards. Check one of the two. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Peace.